Hi there. My name is Kenzie. I'm offering you a restorative yoga practice today. As you can tell, we need some props for this practice. I have two folded blankets. They could be blankets of any weight or size. Um, and two thick bed pillows. In fact, these are four smaller bed pillows, two in each pillowcase. Um, you could use a couch cushion. You could use a proper bolster. Uh, even a sleeping bag rolled up in its little sack. Um, would provide the support needed to hopefully have a very relaxing practice. So we will begin by making ourselves comfortable. Uh, comfort is the most important part of this practice and we'll be lying down in a reclined position. So I'll make some suggestions but then you kind of just find your comfort on your own terms. So for me, I am gonna save one of these blankets for under my head rather than use a pillow. They're actually a bit thick for that. Um, and then an extra blanket to the side to keep me warm. You'll also notice I'm wearing a sweater. I'm wearing warm socks uh, because this is not a heating practice. It's rather cooling. So the next option is to place a couple of pillows under your knees. This might be too much, so you're always welcome to use one instead of two. This usually just makes the low back feel more comfortable as you're lying flat. So uh, one way to get your legs over those uh, pillows is to slowly lower down onto your side and then roll onto your back. Now bringing those legs over top. Uh, you could also lie down first, have those knees tucked in, and then lower down from there. Yeah, so once you're kind of in position, this is where you start to notice if you are comfortable, if you could make any adjustments to increase your comfort. Notice if you need that extra blanket for warmth, or even just a little sense of grounding or healing to a particular part of the body. And then perhaps close your eyes. And this allows us to assess our comfort from the inside out. Perhaps inviting the breath. Nice, soft, deep breath in. A softer slower breath out and maybe resting your hands on your belly if that helps you to attune to your breath and again noticing if you are comfortable if you could wiggle around a little bit more to increase that comfort and keeping your eyes closed if that's comfortable for you, breathing through your nose as much as you can. Let's begin to focus a little more on the breath. As we inhale, feeling the abdomen lift or expand. Exhaling, feel the abdomen fall or draw in. Now let's continue to notice, to allow, as we inhale, to expand the abdomen. And the exhale to roll out slowly without any effort. Noticing we can invite each inhale to deepen by allowing the belly to expand. Allowing each exhale to lengthen by simply not pushing the air out. Just let that air roll out on its own. As the inhale will begin when your body is ready. The exhale will begin when it's time. And stay with this gentle movement for a few more breaths. And the abdomen rising and falling with its own easy rhythm. Deepening inhale. Lengthening exhale.
It's as if we're riding these waves of breath through the present moment. And the present moment is where the body always resides. And your body is always present. So as we rest here for a few more minutes, let's become aware of the presence of our own physical being. And perhaps bring some awareness to your feet. Just notice if you can tune in to your feet, feel. soles of the feet, or wiggle the toes if that's helpful, the tops of the feet, the heels, just sending some awareness to the feet. And then invite that awareness a little further up the body, as if you could Travel through the ankles and into the calves. You might notice where the calves are supported, where air or clothing touches the skin. And just allowing a few breaths to simply feel into your own lower legs. And noticing what you notice. And still the belly rises and falls with each breath. Imagine you could travel with your awareness through your knees and into your thighs. Maybe feeling the quiet of your thighs, the soft support beneath them, the clothing against the skin. And then just that deeper felt sense of your thighs resting, quiet. We'll draw that awareness deeper into the body as we feel as if we're traveling through our hips and into the pelvis. Feeling the buttocks supported. And the gentle rhythm of the breath into the lower abdomen. Into the whole abdomen. Feel the support of your back against the floor. And becoming aware of your chest, your shoulders. Feeling the rhythm of the breath within your whole torso. Tuning into your whole torso. And noticing what you notice. The belly rising and falling. Floating awareness through your shoulders. Feeling into your arms and hands. Noticing the soft support beneath them. 
and clothing or air against the skin. Inhabiting both arms and hands with your awareness. Noticing what you notice. Notice where the back of your head touches down. Notice the space at the back of the neck. Air against the skin of your neck and face. Maybe warmth at the scalp. quiet of your face, the heaviness of your head. Noticing what you notice. And feeling that quiet awareness within your whole head and neck. both arms and hands. Your whole torso. And both legs and feet. And your whole body simply aware of your whole body. And your whole breath. We will offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last one. As you complete those breaths, if it suits you, you could rest a hand to your belly and one to your chest. And feel the weight and the warmth of your own giving hand. And offer yourself some sweetness, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. Slowly releasing those hands. Ah, so please know that you are welcome to stay right where you are for as long as you are comfortable. If you are ready to move on to the next pose, 
we will be inviting a little bit of movement in between. Again, the movement is optional. Everything is optional. So you might begin with a little movement to the fingers or toes, to the wrists or ankles. You might feel like turning your head slowly from side to side. There might be a yawn or a stretch. You might feel like wrapping your arms around yourself for a moment and letting the weight of those arms rest against your chest. Even feeling a little, little stretch between the shoulder blades. Even letting that spot between the shoulder blades begin to soften into the floor. You could give yourself a hug with the opposite arm on top. And then maybe we could reach the arms up towards the ceiling, and maybe not. You can just play with that. We could make fists, spread fingers wide. You could do this with the upper arms on the mat, spread the fingers wide, make fists. You can make fists and circle the wrists a few times. Yeah, and then maybe even shake out the hands a little bit. Yeah, and just kind of let that settle wherever the legs want to, wherever the arms want to be. Uh, from here, we could bend the knees. We could rest them on those pillows. We could lift those knees towards the belly. And maybe there's a little, little rock and roll here from side to side. And this could be the tiniest movement. Or you might feel like you want to go a little further in each direction. I like to use this opportunity as a little massage, as that pressure of the body against the floor shifts from shoulder to shoulder, from hip to hip, and inviting the back to soften into the floor. And feeling that shifting pressure of the floor against your back. You might feel like you're just on the edge here, with shoulder and hip, almost like you're balancing there. And very gently rocking slowly to the other side. Yeah. Maybe once more, either direction, softening the back to receive this gentle side to side massage. And we'll meet back at center, maybe holding on to the backs of the knees. We could do a little bit of bending and straightening, and this could be the tiniest bend, the tiniest straighten. Noticing how it feels today. And you could keep those legs a little bit straight here, or you could keep them comfortably bent. We're going to point and flex the feet just a little bit, just pointing and reaching. Again, you could have those legs a little longer if you wanted, or not. Yeah, just noticing how your feet are moving, if they can move together. Yeah, and again, if you want to keep the knees bent, that's great. We're going to start to circle from the ankles. And then I'm changing direction. And then maybe there's some gentle kicking, and maybe there's not. You can choose. Really floppy through the ankles, floppy through the feet. And just like we shook our hands, we could shake the feet. Yeah, maybe one more slow breath in here. 
And then come to stillness. Yeah. It might feel nice to notice how it feels to bring the knees apart a little bit. And then back together. We'll do that a couple more times, gently apart, just before stretch, and gently together. We're using our hands to support the movement so it can be comfortable and small. And maybe one more here. Great. So from here, we will be bringing our feet to the mat. Um, we have a little more movement for our first pose, but I'm just bringing my props where I can reach them. Yeah. So I want you to notice that as I put my feet down, um, my knees are bent and my feet are right at the edges of the mat. Yeah, so not too close. This is just allowing, so they're right, you know, they're probably two feet apart. Um, and then we're allowing both knees to fall to one side, to the same side. And then slowly back to center and to the other side. You can go as slow as you need to here. Uh, we might find that it's a bit stretchy when you get to the kind of end range here, so you don't need to linger. Just kind of find it and then come back. We'll do this a few more times as long as it's comfortable. And keeping those feet wide. This kind of feels like a windshield wiper movement as they both lean to one side together and then to the other. So because the end range here is a bit stretchy, this is where we can make this pose comfortable and still manage to sort of quote unquote hold it. And so what we'll be doing is allowing both knees to fall to the right and then building up support for the legs so we're in a place of openness before stretch. So what I might suggest is the bigger pillow under the outside of that right leg so we can really lean on that leg and then noticing where that inner leg is going. Um, and this you might have to sit up for, so just be, take it easy. Um, you could fold up your blanket and then you could place um, that blanket sort of on the inside of the right foot so that the out inside of the left leg can rest. So it really is going to be different for everyone, but for me, I've got some support there. It could be higher up the leg or it could be that second pillow in there. Um, and then you could keep the other pillow or blanket under your head, especially if that elevation is comfortable. Or another option here is to place the big pillow right over your head. So it's not on your head, but it's just over. And then I've still got another blanket here for warmth or again for more support under my head or arms or legs. So here I am finding some comfort and then maybe even reaching those arms um, to rest on the pillow. And why I'm offering this is that your arms aren't entirely overhead, um, so they might feel like they're in a nice place of openness before stretch here. So that's an option for some people who maybe are feeling like they want um, sort of the inside and back um, inside of those arms to receive a bit of openness. So hopefully you found some comfort. And then perhaps close your eyes. And notice if you are comfortable from the inside out. And if you're not, is there another way to increase your comfort? And so continue to wiggle around to make adjustments. And then once you are comfortable, you know, begin to settle into stillness. Tuning into your breath and your own physical presence. And your body is always present. And the breath is such a wonderful anchor for the present moment as well. You can follow the inhale as it expands the abdomen. Follow the exhale as the abdomen draws back down and in. 
deeper inhale. Slower exhale. So let's Pay such careful attention to the movement of the breath that we notice that moment when the inhale changes direction and be becomes an exhale. And then can we follow the exhale so completely that we notice that moment when the exhale turns into an inhale. And as we rest here a few moments, can we notice the direction change of the breath? And we aren't making this happen, we are simply noticing. It's like watching waves rolling into shore and noticing that moment when they roll back into the ocean. And then that moment when the next wave begins to roll in. And then watch it as it starts to roll back out. And then the next wave, the next breath. As if this is the only show in town, we simply watch and feel the breath rolling in deep. Rolling out slow. Let's offer five or six more breaths, just like that. Each exhale a little longer than the last one. As you complete those breaths, please know that you can stay here for as long as you are comfortable. If you're ready to move into this pose on the other side, moving nice and slow and just notice what you need on the way. So you might need to wiggle the fingers or toes, yawn, I can always
always yawn or stretch. Sometimes I like to give myself a hug here again. And just noticing if you can let that space between the shoulder blades soften into the floor. Let the weight of your arms soften your chest. You can switch arms. Yeah, and then perhaps you could uh, bring those legs back upright, adjusting those props as need be. It might be nice to again rock the knees from side to side a few times, bringing some movement to those hips. And keeping the feet nice and wide, well, let's switch sides. So this time the legs might fall to the left, and this is where we could wedge a block under a blanket under the outside of the left leg. And then we notice if we want support for the inside of the right leg, and that's where we could place a pillow or a blanket, kind of just to support wherever that leg falls, whether it's against the other foot or whether it's on the mat. And you could, again, notice if you want to reach the arms long overhead with the support of a pillow, even, you know, interlacing those hands if that helps or resting them together. Or even placing that, you know, pillow a little higher if the legs are, or arms are longer. Yeah, so whatever sort of supports you here. Yeah. As we've made our way into this pose on the other side, we might have different needs. It might feel different. Again, perhaps closing your eyes. Notice, are you comfortable from the inside out? Could you make any adjustments to increase your comfort? And then beginning to tune in to the journey of your own breath. Again, you might feel the rise and fall of your abdomen. With that deeper inhale. A longer exhale. Tuning in into the rhythm of your own breath, starting to notice where and when the inhale turns to exhale. And where the exhale turns to inhale. As if you're watching waves roll into the beach, roll into shore. And there's the inhale, there's the rolling in. And then there's that moment where the water changes direction, where the wave rolls back out. And there's the exhale. And there's the next wave, there's the inhale, rolling in. Oh, there's the change. Rolling out. And there's the next wave. Rolling in. Can we simply ride the wave of breath through the present moment? And if the mind wanders, can you notice? Come back. Come back to the deep inhale. And the slow, effortless exhale.
And as we rest here for a couple more minutes, waves of breath rolling in. And rolling out. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last. As you complete those breaths, please know that you can stay for your, here for as long as you are comfortable. If you're ready to invite movement, maybe it's the fingers or toes. Oh, there's the yawn. Again, you might give yourself a hug here. Let that spot between the shoulder blades melt. Maybe switching arms. Let the weight of your arms remind the chest to soften. Yeah, slowly releasing from that. Or maybe moving those props around. As you might again I wish to take the feet wide, rock the knees a few times, stretch, oh God. Yeah. We have one more pose before our final relaxation pose. It will also be a reclined pose. All of our practice today will be on our back. Uh, so as you can see, now I've draw, brought my feet um, so the inner edges of the feet are touching. And I'm going to bring a pillow to one side and a pillow to the other side. Oh. Uh, from here, I'm letting my feet fall out to the sides. And this is where I might need to wedge those pillows a little closer. because The soles might be touching here. You could take the soles still together, but the legs longer. You could bring the soles together and the legs closer towards you. Um, you could separate the soles of the feet if you needed to, but hopefully these pillows are enough support so that you're in a place of openness before stretch. Um, there's another option for the arms. We can kind of create a similar position for those arms um, that we've done for the hips by folding up, almost rolling up our blankets um, and bringing them to either side of the arm. So I'm going to look for a similar thickness for those two blankets. 
similar position. And then I could kind of bring the elbows out to the side and notice where those hands want to be. So we could be in what's called sort of a, a relaxed cactus. And that could feel good. You could have that a little higher up or a little lower. Yeah. Um, you could have the hands behind the head sort of in the push-up, not push-up, uh, kind of sit-up position or like relaxed beach position where the hands are under the back of the head. And this might mean bringing those blankets in a little closer. So again, we're in a place of openness before stretch, yeah. And if you don't want those fingers or hands right under your head, you could bring them more to the back of the neck where they won't be touching, yeah. Or even overhead and still have that nice open armpit position, yeah. All right, so again, there's opportunity here to close your eyes and notice if you're truly comfortable and make any other necessary adjustments. Now, once you are comfortable, again, tuning in to the breath, we've kept our practice very simple so far, using that breath to anchor us. And that pattern of deeper inhale and slower exhale does stimulate the parasympathetic, which is the, the relaxing end of nervous system function. So hopefully starting to feel the benefit of that breath work, that breath pattern, and continuing to allow the deeper inhale and the slower exhale, as long as that feels easy, feels effortless. Explore the breath on a slightly more energetic level. As you begin to sense the breath energy moving through your abdomen, whatever that means to you, sense the breath energy moving through your abdomen. Now sensing all of the space in your abdomen. Sense the breath energy moving through your legs, whatever that means to you. Now the breath energy moving through your legs and feet. And the breath energy moving through your whole lower body. Sensing all of the space in your lower body. Sensing the breath energy moving through your upper body. Whatever that means to you, the breath energy moving through your upper body. Yeah. 
sensing all of the space in your upper body. Sense the breath energy moving through your head, whatever that means to you. Sense the breath energy moving through your head. Sense all the space in your head. Sense the breath energy moving through your heart, whatever that means to you. Sense the breath energy moving through your heart. Sense all of the space in your heart. As we continue to rest here for a little while longer. Continue to feel all the space within body, mind, and heart. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last one.
As you complete those breaths, please know that you can stay here for as long as you are comfortable. If you are ready to make your way into the final relaxation pose, and perhaps there's some movement to the fingers or toes, you might free up those arms and stretch them. You might yawn, apparently I yawn, and then maybe guide those knees together. You might give yourself a hug here. You might rest those knees against each other, letting the feet be wide. You might switch arms. And so I will just loop these pillows out of the way for a moment as we again might rock those knees from side to side with the feet wide. And we might not. Slow, gentle movement. So we might just as slowly walk those feet towards each other and then slowly lift those feet as we draw the knees to the belly. And we might rock a bit from side to side. Again, there might be opportunity to kind of massage across your back softening your back into the mat, into the floor as you rock all the way over to one shoulder and hip and then the other. And it's okay if you tip right over. You can just gently roll yourself back. So you can play with that a little if you do need to just feel a little weight off your back. You could even Kind of roll to one side. And then you make your way to the other side. You know, you could do this even with a pillow to either side just to have that a little soft landing. Maybe not going this far. So maybe once more again, maybe rolling all the way to one side, maybe leaning and rolling into a pillow, or maybe simply shifting that weight from side to side. So our final pose might be just like the first one, so you might need to hoist those pillows to the far end of your mat. You might be able to do this without sitting up. You might need to sit up. Yeah, and those legs can be quite high. Those knees can be quite bent. Uh, notice what you need here under your head. And some of us need quite a bit of support for the head just based on the, the shape of our own cervical spine. Um, it's always nice, especially at this part of the practice, to add extra warmth. So don't hesitate to press pause and grab anything else you need for this final pose. Yeah. Again, there's opportunity to assess your comfort and to continue to adjust. Sometimes it's nice to keep those hands on the belly, and sometimes out to the sides. As we once more tune into the breath, can we return to that felt sense of spaciousness. Can we once more sense all of the space within body, mind, and heart? And 
as we if as if each inhale was maintaining that expansion, that spaciousness. Each exhale is a letting go, a surrendering to gravity. Each inhale, we notice all of the space within. Each exhale, we notice the soft support beneath us and we choose to let go, to sink, to settle, to soften. Inhale, feel into all of the space within us. Exhale, soften, settle, sink into the support beneath us. So as we rest here for a few more minutes, can you, with each inhale, Feel into that space, all of that space within, body, mind, and heart. Exhale, letting go, sinking. Stay with it. Ride this wave of breath through the present moment. Expanding awareness. Deepening surrender. Each inhale, feeling all of the space within, body, mind, and heart. Each exhale, sinking into the soft support beneath you. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last.
As you complete those breaths, you may wish to rest a hand to your belly and a hand to your chest, feeling the weight and warmth of your own giving hands, perhaps offering yourself some sweetness. Kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. So this is where I will leave you. Uh, you are welcome to stay right where you are for as long as you are comfortable. Eventually you might wiggle the fingers or toes, you might turn your head, yawn or stretch. Eventually you might hug your knees to your belly and roll over to one side, allowing a few breaths there before you make your way upright. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or concerns, always feel free to reach out to us at the Everyday Counts program. Thank you so much and bye for now.